Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. I've had the 2018 MacBook Pro for quite a while. Actually, I had it ever since it first came out, so I thought I'd make a video about it. This right here is the 2018 MacBook Pro, the 15 inch model. And first of all, we're gonna start off by talking about the design. So the laptop is constructed out of aluminum and it's held up pretty well actually. I've had this for almost a year. There are signs of wear and tear, like there's a dent on the bottom with some scratches surrounding it, but as long as you put a cover on it, you should be good. I haven't had a lot of problems with this laptop, but not too long ago, it's Thunder 3 Bolt ports stopped working for some reason. My laptop wouldn't recognize or charge any other devices I tried connecting to it. I think it could have been the third party charging cable I was using, but I highly doubt that. Anyway, I was luckily within Apple's one year warranty and I got it fixed for free. Besides that, the rest of the laptop is in great condition. Performance. So what comes inside of the $2,400 MacBook Pro? Well, it comes with an Intel Core i7 processor clocked in at 2.2 gigahertz, a 16 gigabyte DDR4 RAM, and a Radeon Pro 555X with four gigabytes of DDR5 memory. Uh, I don't know what you're going to be using the laptop for, but I mainly use it to edit videos and browse the internet. And for that, it does a great job. I use Final Cut Pro, GarageBand, and iMovie. All of them run smoothly since they're optimized to run on Apple devices. Plus, I have played a couple of games like Fortnite, and those games also run quite well, actually. Battery life. I can get through a whole day without having to charge the laptop, but that's only if I'm browsing the web, checking my emails, and doing light activities like that. When I'm editing and posting videos, it's almost like half of that. But a lot of things come into play, like if you're using the speakers, how bright your display is, and what you're actually doing on the laptop will affect the battery life. The screen. This laptop has one of the most beautiful displays I've seen on a laptop. It's got a 15.4 inch LED backlit display with IPS technology and colors happen to look natural. In other words, they look more true to life. It's got a resolution of 2880 by 1800. No, it's not a 4K display, but you can't really tell the difference anyway. It's got a pixel density of 220 PPI, which means even if you go close to the screen, you won't be able to tell apart between the pixels. Even though this laptop has a reflective screen, I haven't come across any issues using it during the daytime. It might be different if you're using it under direct sunlight, there is going to be a lot of reflection, but this does get pretty bright, 500 nits bright. Next up is the speaker, and it's one of the best sounding speakers on a laptop. That's all I have to say. Yes, this does have a touch bar. I don't use it as much, but you might. And uh, what you can do with it is adjust some settings on GarageBand, Final Cut Pro, any other programs. You can adjust its settings from the top without having to go scroll through all of the settings menu. And you can also scrub through movies and videos. But yes, I do use it. I use it to adjust the volume and the brightness. The keyboard. This has a third gen butterfly keyboard. Some people don't like it and some do, and I happen to be the ones that actually like it. It has little to no travel, but I think I can type faster on this for some reason. Also, it's a quiet keyboard. It's a little quieter than the previous generation butterfly keyboards. The trackpad. It's huge and very easy to use. It's actually one of the main reasons why I got this laptop in the first place. Also, this has a multi-finger gesture feature, which makes the overall experience much smoother. As you can tell, I like this laptop and I am satisfied with my purchase. Even though I could have bought a cheaper version of the laptop and probably would have gotten the same performance out of it, I'm talking about the one I have and I'm not really gonna hate on it besides the fact that $2,400, there is no way this should only have 256 gigabytes of storage. That's the only thing that I wish Apple didn't do with this. But anyways, it, it is what it is, right? I have a SSD, a one terabyte SSD, and if I run out of space, I put it in there. But yeah, I do come across performance issues sometimes. When I'm uploading a video, the laptop starts getting warm and the fan turns on and it gets a little laggy if I'm doing other things like browsing the web or using any other programs, but the laptop has rarely ever crashed on me. It has crashed a couple of times, but I might have been because the software wasn't updated. But anyways, overall, this is a pretty good laptop, but you can save money on this. You can buy an older laptop and get the same performance out of it. Anyways, this was the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and have an amazing day and I will catch you next time. Peace.